This former companion of yours. Bruno, was it? From my days with the Tricorns, yes. Massive guy, with an even more massive heart. Tell me, Travis, what spurred you to desert your company? Wasn't my call, really. My sister just up and disbanded it one day. Said she was sick of the light wages and the heavy baggage. Baggage? What did she mean by that? Me, apparently. My incompetence was single-handedly dragging the entire operation through the dust. Her words, not mine. So I saw Red, and stormed off for good. It was all I could do not to scream. Turns out sometime after I left, Bruno took the reins and got the Tricorns back galloping again. Hence they still endure, despite your sister's best attempts to disband. Push comes to shove, though, Bruno would never join arms with Galerius. Not by choice. He was long tired of living by someone else's creed. Even when we first formed the Tricorns, he craved independence over all else. So I'll talk to him, man to hulking man. I need to see for myself what fashioned him a mere dog in Zenoira's lap. Depart. ever in your it shall be done consider it ours Try. Let's see what you've got, rebel rats. What the hell happened to you, Bruno? I don't know what you're talking about, but I won't hear another word of it. Thanks. Oh. <sighs> I'll handle this. You've taken quite the fall from grace, big guy. But I know you wouldn't fly Zenora's colors without good reason. So come on, out with it. Careless fool! <coughs> Keep your distance. There's something I wish to try.
nervous? Last I remember, I was burying my axe in some lousy Zenoyeran neck. Past that, it's all smoke. Figures the bastards got their hooks sunk in me. You've got no choice but to even the score, then. They take a finger, you take the whole damn hand. Join us, Bruno. Spill their blood under the Liberation's banner. And rub shoulders with the rat who left me in the cold? Quit kidding yourself. Days gone, you and me could have had a real go at it, even without your sister leading the charge. But now, I don't even want to look at you. Bruno, I... What's all this about dissolving the company, Ren? You can't be serious. Serious as a slashed throat. The Tricorns ride no further. Get it through your thick skull, Travis. I'm done dragging your dead weight around for good. <sighs> she tossed me aside like it was nothing. So I left. Wasn't interested in clipping anyone else's wings, you know? And what? That's supposed to make me forgive you? You dumped us in a ditch when we needed you most, Travis. If only you knew the kind of dirt we ate crawling out. You've got the right of it. I'm in no position to ask favors after what I did. But the truth is, those days we spent playing the fool were some of the best I've ever had. I'm sorry, Bruno. I hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. Hold it. Just what do you mean, playing the fool? You're the one who was squeezing out half-brained ideas like they was yesterday's lunch. Harsh words from the man who thinks hatching a plan means a trip to the chicken coop. Miss this something fierce, you know. Maybe I wouldn't mind giving the old tricorns one last hurrah after all. So, the foal has finally ceased braying, hmm? What are you planning to do with me? I should think you'd already know. I have no intention of helping you, if that's what you imply. Your intentions matter not. Though I must say, it came as quite the surprise to hear Hodric had set off for your derelict island. Emperor Galerius has tendered a fine reward for you, and I'll not allow it to be snatched from beneath me. I haven't an inkling how he persuaded you to follow him, but his aims are scarce different than mine own. I'd advise you against harboring any false hopes of rescue, girl. My hopes are true as the morning sun. They'll come. <laughs> yes, yes. A commendable show of defiance. But our mercenaries will have made short work of your friends. Worry not. You'll be freed from your burdens ere long. Once you've fulfilled your purpose, that is. In the meantime, do behave yourself, would you? <laughs> <laughs> 